This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Häagen-Dazs Macadamia Nut Brittle Ice Cream. I bought this for 3 euros and 69 cents at my local Globos on sale, and I thought that was a great time to try out this particular ice cream, which is of course a kind of Häagen-Dazs ice cream that I have not had before on this particular channel, and I didn't really buy it for myself either. Let's take a quick look at the nutrition table, pause if you want to read that. 400 grams in 460 milliliters. Pause if you want to read the French ingredients list. Pause again for the second half. Same goes for the Dutch one and the second half of the Dutch one. And the German one fits in one, I think, focused frame, semi-focused frame. Ingredients list right here. Not too long, which is good. Um, we've got a vanilla ice cream with brittle-like macadamia nut pieces. It says Boch, I do not exactly know how to translate that. It's just pieces of macadamia nut, I guess. Let's take off the top of it and we've got the usual just foil on the very top. We set this aside, take a little cutting board, flip this upside down and where are we going to cut this? Let's do it right here. Looks good to me. See how easy that is. Yeah, that's uh, it's still very, very cold, of course, so that is going to be a bit more difficult. I always say to put it out of the freezer like 10 15 minutes before you eat it, but I'm not a big fan of that. In my case, it always seems to get uh, too runny too quickly. Which one has got the ingredients list? The left one. So we put the right one in the freezer and I'll be back with you in just a second. I am back at the desk and ready to dive into this wonderful piece of dessert. Now let's take a closer look at this. Zoom in on that. So we've got our ice cream, our base ice cream, which is obviously well distributed. <laughs> and we've got our macadamia nut. Brittle pieces, brittle-like pieces all around. Yeah, those are nuts, cold nuts, brittle-like nuts. Let's take a look at the very top of the ice cream, scrape a bit of that. Consistency-wise, it's very cold still, not ideal for direct consumption, but consistency-wise it's fine. It's a bit denser than usual, but absolutely, absolutely fine. On the sides right here you can see it's much easier to dig in with the spoon. Let's give this a little a little taste test. It really tastes a lot like vanilla ice cream. It is, in fact, vanilla ice cream. It tastes like very decent vanilla ice cream, I have to say. Nothing to complain about in that regard. Let's go for another one. Yes, the second spoonful as well. Seems nice. Um, nicely smelling, nicely tasting, nice texture in your mouth. Let us take a look at the little macadamia nut brittle pieces. They are trying to evade their fate, but they will be unsuccessful. Yeah, they are very crunchy. They taste nice and very brittle-like. Um, they are coming cl very close to the consistency of uh, candied almonds, the ones that you get for Christmas. Very nice indeed. Taste-wise, nothing to special about them. They haven't got the most exciting flavor, those macadamia nuts, but in this, this brittle state, that candied state, they are really nice and sweet, really crunchy, overall very enjoyable, at least so far. Yeah, the same thing goes, of course, for the second spoonful of them. Let's take a spoonful with um, a good amount of that particular sauce right there, those macadamia nuts, and um, a good-sized spoonful of vanilla ice cream as well. Let's see how this is. Now this is a simpler setup of an ice cream. Um, we've got very crazy things going on nowadays in the ice cream world. Ever since the American ice creams um, began their, their fight for world dominance in the ice cream market. And um, yeah, this is a, a simpler one. And so far, it is really nice. And um, the vanilla ice cream is, is well tasting. We've got that brittle macadamia nut in here, which is nice tasting as well. Nice and sweet, nice and crunchy and um, 
that softer nutty texture of that macadamia nut that is very pleasant as well, really complements the rest of the ice cream, I've got to say. I will now proceed to finish this uh, half of the ice cream off and I'll give you my verdict in just a second. The consumption process is now complete and it's time for another ice cream monologue of mine. So the first impression was decent, enough to say, and the brittle pieces were distributed well in the ice cream itself. Um, I had no, no dark pockets of, of just brittle and nothing else and there weren't any big spaces without anything of that either. So um, nothing to complain about in that regard. And color wise everything looked natural as well. Uh, we've got a, the lighter vanilla ice cream and we've got that um, caramelly brownish golden looking macadamia nut brittle pieces and that all looked beautiful as well. Um, again, nothing to complain about. Same goes for the consistency and texture. Um, while the ice cream itself made a bit of a stiffer impression at first, uh, I'm sure that was because it was just taken out of the freezer. It was very creamy and nice afterwards. What actually surprised me was that that particular crunchiness of those macadamia nut brittle pieces, that was interesting. Gave me that same lovely, um, well, at some point in time, dangerous feeling of uh, something cracking in your mouth, depending on the state of your teeth. But overall, I, I really enjoy that texture, that crunchiness, that sweetness when you bite down on these things. And um, with this one right here, it was just perfectly executed, I think at least. Taste-wise, um, again, nothing to complain either. Uh, the vanilla tasted uh, vanilla-ish. Uh, that vanilla ice cream tasted very natural, nothing, no aftertaste to it, um, no overwhelming taste, it just tasted right. The same thing goes for the macadamia nut brittle pieces. Um, while I didn't have macadamia nut brittle before, it really just reminds me of a, of a slight mixture of that walnutty macadamia nut flavor and those, um, those candied almonds for Christmas. And that mixture is overall just very enjoyable taste-wise, um, texture-wise. It's just very, very nice, I have to say. Demoralization-wise, they really gave us everything they said they would. And therefore, I can't really deduct any points in, uh, in that sector either. On a scale from 1 to 10, therefore, this ice cream gets a 9.29. 9. Something I really like about the second hours ice creams is that they've got... They've got simple setups of ice creams with the simple flavor profiles and other than just throwing other stuff in there just to make it a bit more exciting, they're pretty much nailing it with their simple things like this one right here. We had the, um, the, the strawberries and cream one last week. That was brilliant when it comes to strawberry ice cream in general, I have to say. This is like my benchmark in strawberry ice cream now. And this macadamia nut brittle ice cream right here, that was, it, it was really, really good. Simple in setup, um, vanilla ice cream, well done, the brittle piece is well done, and that's really it. It's just a well done ice cream. And um, I have to say that I really enjoy that about these Hagen Dazs ice creams. They are simpler than many others, but they are nailing it almost every time. And that's something I, I have to say I really enjoy about these. Anyway. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.